Hello YouTube. Um, this is part two of MMD PMD how to edit your own base. And in the first one, what we did was change the eyes. So now what we're gonna do on this one is um, add on some hair and change the hair. So first, what you want to do, obviously, get up PMD, and then you want to come over here and open up the D, and then click on the D, and this will come up. Come down here, click on the VR, come back up here, click the V, this will come up, come down here, click on the MA, click on the C, back up here, this will come up, and lastly click on the S, and the subscreen will come up. So, now we're ready to put on the hair. So what you want to do is open up your documents and go to where you put the hair. Open it up when you get to this part. When you get to this part, what you want to do is get this up. What you want to do now, click on this, hold it, and drag it to this part right here, then let go. This box should come up, click on add, click OK. Then, whenever my computer will stop being super slow, um, there we go, your hair will be on your character. So, if you want, let's say you don't like where it's at, you want to scoot it up, or scoot it down, or move it forward, move it backward, what you want to do, come to this, and as you can see, it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but then it goes starts counting back to 0, 1, 2, 3. What that means is that's what you... Um, have just added onto your character, so in this case, it's her hair. So, yours might be more, but however many it is, you select all of them, so it's getting all of her hair, and then you want to click, and this box should appear, and you want to uh, make sure you get all the hair in this box, and it should turn orange. After that, you want to get this box, it says control at the top. So, in this row, Let's say you want to move her hair down. What you want to do, click on the Y in this row and um, um, go down. So now let's say you want to move her hair uh, forward or backward. What you do, um, click on the Z in this and move it left or move it right. And as you can see, I'm trying not to move it so much because this hair is actually pretty much perfect where it's at. Um, this column, I don't ever mess with this column, and you wouldn't want to either. This one makes her hair um, wider. The Z in this column, move it left or right. This Y in this column makes her hair longer. And the X... Um, no, the X makes her hair wider, and this one makes it, um, like, uh, I don't know, I'll show you really quick, I don't know how to explain it. Does this. So if you want to fix that, you can also mess with that. If you see little skin parts that are coming out, you can edit that. And you don't want those to show because that is a skin, and it'll show on Miku Miku Dance if you leave any skin showing. So, once you have everything and you like it, now it's time to add on a texture. So, go back to your document and go to where you save some hair textures. 
want to get into them, pick which one you want. Um, for this one, I'll, do, I'll just do purple. So you want to copy it, don't cut it. So copy it, do not cut it. Then go back to your Miku Miku Dance file, user file, then model, where you um, have saved your model. Click on the file, open it, and paste it like you can see I've done right here. Then if you want, you can rename it. So what you want to do, come back to this, and you want to once again get this up. So what you want to look for is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or however many things that your hair had. So you look over here and you say, well, I only see a 0, 1, 2, 3 up here, and I know that's not it. Well, it's not what you look at. You look over here where it says MA, 0, MA, 1, so on, because this side matches this side. So you look over here, it goes 0 through 9, then it goes 0, 1, 2, 3 again. So 10, 11, 12, and 13, or however many years it is, is what you want to focus on. Um, so now the next part is up to you. You can change by click by clicking on it. This will come up. You can um, put both of them to white, and what that'll do is uh, make the hair brighter. I always do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to these really quick. And um, also while you're at it, since you're on it already. Look down here to texture, and it will be something in the box. You don't want that, so select it and erase it. And another thing I should say, some textures will be PNG, and if they are, the file will specify it, and some are BNP. This may not um, do the same thing on your computer, but on mine, PNG and sphere textures, SPH textures, um, will not show on my PMD editor. But when I load it on to MMD, the textures will show. I don't know why it does that, but so when it comes to that, you have to experiment and see if that sphere or PNG texture works. But so now you want to do that for the rest of the hair. Texture, if there's anything in there, erase it. Then you want to Face the right thing to white. And depending on how fast your computer is, this could go very fast or very slow. Then do the same thing for the next one. Something in the texture, erase it. Then come over to here and change these to white. And again, changing these white, that is totally up to you. It just makes um, the hair look brighter. I would have recommend doing it. Then get into the last one here. Again, anything in the texture, select it, delete it, then change the color. After this will be finished, we will be able to um, actual put the actual texture onto the hair. So, that's finished now. So, go back and look in your file, see what you named it, and see if it is a, a PNG or if it's BMP. If it's PNG, it will say dot .png, but if it's not, um, you have to assume it's a BMP, like this one and this one, and all the ones that don't have a dot blah 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 after them. So, I named my hair, so what you want to do? go over here to texture and type in whatever you named your thing dot bmp or dot png whichever um, one your files named 
and for some reason when you uh, type them in, they go very, 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 very slow. At least it does for my computer. So, whenever this is finished, you'll see that part of the hair will have the texture on it that I chose. It's almost finished. There we go. Now, um, if my computer, there we go, you can see part of the hair has some of the texture on it. So, instead of having to wait that long, again, what you can do is copy it and then go ahead and uh, paste it into all the other texture spots. It makes it a lot faster. So as you can see, the hair is starting to turn purple and it's starting to go with the texture. So you do that for all of them, however many you have. Then my last one. And there you go. That's how you put on a texture. So um, that's going to be all for this tutorial. Unfortunately, I was hoping this was only going to be in, like, one or two parts, but this is, it's probably going to be a lot longer, because in the next tutorials, um, hopefully I'm going to try to squeeze a bunch of stuff into one. I'll be showing, um, how to put in on clothes, because everything is the same on how you put on your clothes, and how you um, like re will resize them, and how you put on textures, all that's the same. So hopefully there will only be three parts to this. So the next tutorial will have um, a bunch of stuff, but and you do the same thing for all of it. So stay tuned for the next one.